Hi, I'm Rich Efron. This is this week's Delaware State Chamber of Commerce Legislative Report. Some of you are probably wondering about the bandage on my nose. That's a pretty simple explanation. Too much time at the beach, uh, we'll have patient surgery, nothing uh, major, and everything is fine. Except I have to wear this bandage for the next few days. Uh, three things we're going to talk about all uh, were in the, the news journal last Wednesday. First of all, there was an article about Middletown and the fact they've attracted a Swiss firm, Datweiler Ceiling Solutions Manufacturing, to their, to their West Town business park. Uh, this is not the first business they've attracted there. Uh, Mayor Branner and his uh, staff and city council have been pretty efficient at getting companies to go there. Uh, I think we need to find out what the model that they use and apply it to the rest of the state. Uh, this is a positive sign for the state of Delaware and obviously a very positive sign for Middletown. Uh, second article was disappointing, Prestige Academy, which was a charter school for young men from uh, first grade to eighth grade on the upper northeast uh, side of Wilmington. It was for young African Americans primarily. Uh, I had visited the school. I think they did a pretty good job, but enrollment is dropping and they can't stay um, in business. Uh, it's a shame. I hate to see that. Um, and uh, we're, we're disappointed that the, this happened. Uh, lastly, uh, I have been critical of the News Journal on occasion, uh, but they did an editorial on Wednesday on clown paranoia, and I think they're right on. It's sort of ridiculous. All the things we have to worry about in the world, and we're worried about people walking around in, in clown outfits and uh, trying to scare little children and their parents and others. Uh, really, it's, it's kind of kind of silly with all the other problems we have in the world. And I compliment them for their editorial, and I recommend you read it. Um, in fact, I recommend you read all three of these articles. That's it for this week. The election's coming up, and we'll talk more about that starting next week. Thank you.